Greetings, I'm Rob Chappers. And I'm the captain. We're at Anderton's showing you an amazing new LTD guitar from ESP Guitars. Uh, this is the James Hetfield signature model, which is the Snake Bite. It certainly is. For 2011, uh, been built in collaboration with James Hetfield to run alongside his uh, truckster. So the Snake Bite is um, a, a twin EMG humbucker guitar. It's got an EMG uh, 81 and an EMG 60. Uh, it's a solid mahogany guitar, mahogany body, mahogany neck, a set neck design, uh, ebony fretboard. It's a super high spec guitar. This guitar, um, locking machines. Uh, spurts are locking machines, really high quality hardware. <laughs> Blacker. It couldn't be any blacker. Unless, of course, you bought the white one. And then, and then it couldn't be any <laughs> couldn't whiter. Couldn't be any whiter, no. <laughs> um, it comes with a thin U neck, which is the neck they've used on the FX guitars before. Feels really, really nice in the hand. It isn't too thin that it just kind of feels like there's nothing there, and it's thick enough that you've got some serious wood in your hands. <laughs> boogie head. We are. Now I must admit that I hadn't really used this kind of boogie head before a lot and I was quite excited and surprised. Uh, tell the guys about this head. Well this is from the um, this is from the rectifier series from boogie. Uh, the, the, I guess the famous one is the dual rectifier you know that that's certainly the one that you know Metallica have used for a long time and Food Fighters and all those kind of bands. It's that classic it's the classic kind of sound that had that whole generation of kind of 90s sort of heavy rock metal kind of sound. <laughs> So we've got a, a single rec. This is an old second-hand one, actually, that I've had for ages, and I've just realised the mains light doesn't work. So before you all comment, the mains light doesn't work. I, I know the mains light doesn't work. Single rec has no reverb, so I'm just using a little Boss digital reverb pedal. We've played around for, you know, not for long, but I, again, I've, I've, I've actually set Rob up here with the gain only really just past halfway. We're in the modern mode, which is the full gain mode, uh, and what we're doing to, to, to add some depth and oomph to the sound is we are driving it probably louder than we yeah, would. Lots of volume. Uh, so it's, it's pretty loud in here, but it sounds amazing. Yeah, and it, it we're just and there's no there's, we haven't got any other drive pedals in the chain. We've just literally got the reverb pedal going through the effects. Yeah. Thing. Pickups, Lee. Well, we were talking about pickups because, um, well, in fact, the conversation came around because I had the ESP catalog here, and you ESP aficionados out there will know that uh, ESP, ha if it says ESP at the top of the headstock, then it's been built in the Japanese custom shop. If it says LTD on the headstock, then it's more of a production line sort of guitar. Generally, usually it's like a downgraded spec 
to sell at a more affordable price. <laughs> Certainly, this LTD is a lot more affordable than the ESP, mm. but the spec in the catalogue is completely identical. So, same timbers, same pickups, same hardware, you know, same fretboard. Mm. And of course, then we were talking about uh, pickups, and we were saying, well, there's also been a ton of publicity this year about the uh, a new set of EMG pickups that James Hetfield has uh, designed for himself, uh, called the Hetset. They look amazing. If you've not seen any pictures of them or seen the video, you should check them out. Just for the look alone, they are a, 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 probably one of the nicest looking pickups I've ever seen. And James Hetfield describes them as kind of giving him kind of the, the power of an active pickup, but with the dynamics of a, of a passive pickup. <laughs> of the whole thing is neither of the new snake bites actually use the Hetfield set. They're using the, the EMGs that he's used for a number of years now, which is, as I said, the 81 and the 60. So I guess if you really want the ultimate kind of Hetfield setup, you're going to have to buy this and the Het set as well, which is cool. You can buy all that from Anderton's and I'm sure, you know, we'll do you a good deal and fit them for you or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> talking of cases, because we were just talking about yes. cases and something rude that we can't let you hear. Um, this doesn't come with a case, but of course you can buy a case. Yes. And a case it's that would a, fit this, no problem at I all. I will link the correct case on our website to it, but there is a gator, a very cool gator, uh, it's called an extreme case that you can basically mould the innards to any crazy shape guitar yeah. that you like. So I'll, I'll link that. Yeah, uh, to and if you're going to get one of these out. shaped guitars, you, you really need case. to get a case because the thing is, they don't lean against the wall because they do this, and you're going to prong the ends and the corners. <laughs> These are called a Hercules, um, I forget the model number of them, but search for it on our website, Hercules Guitar Stand, and you can see the design, it grips it at the headstock here, and it's just got a backrest, so any crazy shaped guitar that you've got, like a Explorer or a V or anything like that, this is a great stand for it. They're about 25 or 29 pounds. It's really also nice like an made. evil ant robot. Yeah, I'm gonna eat your face, <laughs> the two controls to be tone and volume. Yeah, so am I. Yeah. And I was, I was going, why is it not turning off? And then I realised it wasn't a tone. There's no tone. One. Yeah. It, it's just two volume controls, one for the front pickup, one for the back pickup. Um, and the other thing actually, which I have to say thanks to Pablo for looking up for us, EMG60 is um, the bridge pickup on this. Unusual choice, isn't it? You, do, you normally see the 81 paired with the 83, but the, the 60 apparently uh, is voiced more like a classic sort of 59 Les Paul sort of sound, mm. you know, really nice kind of smoother, creamy sort of uh, nice for all your kind of mid-rangey solos. You can always tell by the look on Rob's face whether or not he's happy because it's just you plug it in, he plays one chord and then he's just like a child <laughs> at Christmas if he's got a nice guitar sound. Yeah, it's an easy guitar to play, do you know what I mean? Some guitars you kind of have to fight a little bit to make it work. Mm. This is just a guitar that plays itself and it's just a bit of a dream really, you know, nothing more to say. Does that as well, which I quite like. This is uh, down, it's screwed in with little grub screws, Tom Bridge, so it doesn't fall off if you're changing your strings. Normally speaking, when you see the, the ESP 
Japanese guitars and their limit their LTD kind of counterparts. There's normally some sort of spec difference or something that makes the the, the, the sort of the price difference uh, more obvious. In this particular instance, the only difference is the uh, build quality that you would hope you would get from the the ESP Japanese one. This is about nine hundred and ninety pounds for the LTD one, or two thousand two hundred for the ESP yeah. one, and there's not a single spec difference. I tell you what, there's not an awful lot that a really good setup wouldn't wouldn't mm. resolve, you know, on any kind of LTD to make it feel very much like an ESP. I mean, may, maybe there's an argument that the choice of mahogany on the on the ESP would be mm. better than on the LTD, and I'm sure, and I'm sure, if you had the two side by side, you know, you'd, you'd feel a, a quality difference. But yeah. I think that's a big price difference. So in my and a opinion, lot of, a lot of ESP artists. Use, use LTDs, LTDs yeah. yeah, they do. They're not sort of low end guitars yeah. at all. You know? No, L I mean LTD do make some, you know, 150 pound guitars that you could learn to play on, but they equally make some seriously pro guitars. Yeah. Yeah.